it's a. This screen should have the round. I don't know where it would go though. Got it. Or yeah. Or it is that Order. situation where like you get dropped directly into to losers too. Oh nope, you're right. Double elimination still makes no sense to me. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, we trust Chalund, which is a scary proposition. Oh. But... <laughs> so, yeah, we look at Ridley Dragon, beat Muware and Roller, but lost to Arcbliss in Unknown. Oh, that's odd. Oh, yeah, that just because that just happened. That was yesterday. That was in uh, Javeline. Then Ugariel's matches uh, lost to GFM in Prism Light the Way, but then beat Estella Lumaris in Castlevania Simon's Destiny, which I believe that was the uh, Castlevania uh, Doom Doom mod. Yeah. Yeah, but this is this is a good game mystery classic yeah this is long-standing freeware <laughs> with some awesome art <laughs> <laughs> awesome art yeah oh you still have the commentators all to hide the top person <laughs> oh are they starting already yeah here we this go is, this is teleport tower plus <laughs> Maurice does know we can hear. <laughs> oh. No prediction. Uh. Yeah. So this, essentially, uh, you can teleport between the two screens, uh, and your goal get to the shiny orange thing, or yellow, or whatever that is. Yeah, but uh, basically, it's just a platformer with some puzzle elements. I, I, yeah, this would be described as a puzzle platformer. I th yeah, the later levels are heavily puzzled, almost more so than platformer. There's a decent amount of actual platforming you have to do, though. Yeah, like these on. these beginning levels are basically teaching you, like, here's how you platform. Yeah, well, while the later levels are just like, figure out how to platform. Yeah, so the things we can do is obviously teleport between the left and right, like, half. You can also hang on these little things that stick out of the wall. You can hang onto any edge that isn't inset, like the one on Ridley Dragon screen next to the goal. And that's basically it. There's also going to be these hoops, but we'll get to those. Um, yeah, at this point... What you need to know is that when you tell you teleport yourself using a button, and you can do it at any time. High jump. Um, yeah. These nice. hoops are high jump, and they give you a jump back in the air. That's advanced hoop that we won't see quite yet. That's some hoop tech right there. Yeah. Is I think this is Tower A is the goal. Is Ridley Dragon's audio like a hat for some reason? Yeah. I've never seen this happen. This is amazing. It happened to me once when I was streaming a GameCube game. I don't really understand. I, had, I like set a custom offset in OBS. It didn't make any sense. Okay. Somehow I was able to set a negative offset. <laughs> Let's see if Jugariel has audio because it's driving me crazy. Yeah, but as we can see, like the levels, um, Jugariel is about one level ahead of Ridley, but these beginning levels are pretty easy like to get the grasp of so not too difficult again just getting the basics laid out 
This game has been in MT a lot of times. It was on the backup list, actually, but it was already submitted for this, so... We have an actual sub for it. Very close race. Really dragon caught, caught up a little bit. There are ten levels. We'll only be playing eight. Um, oh, oh, really? Ten, ten, ten towers. Really? Yeah. Eight towers with ten levels in each tower. I played this like a month ago or something because I remembered that it was fun. And I thought it was doable, <laughs> all of them. I think it is doable. This is just what was submitted and it's also doable. It'll just be a little shorter. So, so far, We've raced it both ways. So far this has been pretty puzzly, where you just have to kind of figure out where to go and how to get there. It's gonna get also execution heavy, where you have to like switch in mid-air and stuff like that. Yeah, and it looks like Ridley Dragon just took the lead, but maybe losing it. Uh, not for me. Oh. oh. Damn it, me also. It's I, very I cool have, now. I have the wrong stream up, my bad. I'm because I have chat open as well. I need to. Oh yeah. That. You have. Uh, I fixed it now. Oh, he's. Ahead. You can see actually how many deaths there's been. Um, so you can see the difference between them. Ridley Dragon has taken no deaths so far. Yeah, but now on the same level. Yeah. Damn it, free ball! I just got your joke, and it actually like I thought that there was four players for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The, the margin between the players is almost the same size as between the screens. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah. Who will win? Left player, left, left player, right player, right, right player. <laughs> I think it's going to be a yeah. joint, joint effort between one of these, two of these. Yeah, the prediction should be outside player versus inside player who wins. <laughs> I, I think with these two, with these two players, we probably could have gone uh, player ten, but or I mean tower ten, but because these are both strong players. Um, but I mean eight will be. I think there's enough. It gets hard enough that there'll be a difference between these players. I'm sure. Here's the last uh, thing in the game. I think these teleport teleports. So instead of teleporting to the other screen, you will teleport, like, to the relative position in the other region. It's essentially like a portal that you can activate. Yeah. yeah. The teleport mechanic changes to where you go from yellow to yellow. Oh, now you're going to time this. Oh, Wait, geez. Teleportal? Why isn't that a game? Oh, That's no, a you title. Do. Wait, you don't have to time this. You just fall down the thing in the middle. This is complete bait yeah. on the right. What the hell is that? There's no yeah. point to this. Yeah, just to it's this. A psychological trick. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Ridley Dragon figured it out first. The troll. And, and Yugaro just right behind. Oh, nice switching for Ridley Dragon. So this this is very neat timing. Got to switch to That was a good switch. That. You also do carry your momentum through teleporting, kind of like in Portal. So could have like jumped while going from yellow to yellow and would have ended up in a little bit easier for him, but... That'll be required later on. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. You also fall slower when you're in those hoops to give you time to hit the input. Yeah, it's also going to be like used as a floating mechanic in some levels. Chebbing gamer move inside left player's name here. <laughs> we were talking about that. <laughs> You Yugaro. Yugaro. Yeah, solve that way faster. Well, yeah, here you've got to use just what I was talking about, where you kind of carry the momentum through. Perfect. This is this yeah, makes for a really good blind race, because it's as much about figuring out what you need to do as it is about actually doing it. Yeah, and as we can yeah. see, like, the lead changes have been going back and forth. Like, we still got half of the goal left. So I don't, I don't imagine that, like, I, I imagine we'll see continual lead changes throughout this race. Or not, who knows. Commentator's curse. I think Ridley Dragon will catch up. Well, and there, that's, and that seals yeah. it, you go. <laughs> 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 Ridley Dragon. 
I think I timed myself, it was like 35 minutes for 10 towers. Yeah, I was blind when I played this, um, this time. I hadn't, I'd seen it, I knew the mechanics, but I'd never played it, um. And I don't remember, I can look at my time, it's probably something embarrassing. Oh, Shigeru realizes he has to switch twice to make it past these spikes. But unfortunately was in the wall, so couldn't do the second one. Switch, jump, switch. I finished it. this goal in 32.10. Oh, here's the momentum thing again. Kind of a free level. Yeah. It kind of goes back and forth whether or not it's a puzzle level or an execution level. This one's just yeah, about timing. One's... I mean, the puzzle levels are essentially just mazes that, like, you can just logic out the solution. With the with the yellow squares, it can get a lot more where you really need to think about what's happening. Okay, I like where this is going. Yeah, that's clear for you. Yeah, uh, what can happen ahead. in this game is that you end up getting into a mindset where, oh, okay, if there are spikes, I can switch to the other thing. But then sometimes they put spikes in the same place on both screens, and you're like, oh, if I switch to the other thing, it's not going to make any difference. In this one, you got to uh, swap twice. So you swap now to the right, and then again. Mm -hmm. nope. I'm not sure how old this game is, but I assume pretty old. I assume like 2005 or something. Whatever the non-plus variant is, probably. <laughs> minus. <also. laughs> yeah, tower. Tower, tower minus. Yeah, they called it minus, so they were like, huh. Maybe, maybe I should make plus. It's a clear, that's five levels ahead. Pretty strong. Yeah, yeah. Ariel is kind of running away with this. Uh, oh, congratulations! You did five. <laughs> no, now do it faster. <laughs> Last course. That was a good game. Oh, uh, we've got now, uh, cyan squares. Same same thing as yellow squares. They're just different. You know, they go to each other and not to the yellow ones. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, they just wanted to add more little teleportation tubes. So, <laughs> you get weird stuff like this, where the yellow squares cross boundaries themselves. There's still only ever two squares in mm. one tower. It's just that... Yeah, it's kind of confusing. There we go. Figured it out. Jugoyover is just running away. Eight levels now. Hmm. What do we do here? Also, shout outs to this cover art. <laughs> oh, we, we teleport in the yellow twice. So we teleport, fall down into the top of the bottom yellow, and then teleport again, so that we end up at the top. Th these blue things are complete bait. Yep. Like, you can kind of work backwards in this level. Alright, I want to be at the top, so I have to be in the top of the bottom yellow rectangle, and there's no way to do that other than dropping into it. <laughs> it's weird like... that falling down can get you higher, but... Yeah. yeah. You, you need to start using your brain that way. Yeah, it looks like Yugeo was trying to figure out a way to, like... Use the yellow teleport to try to get to those jump pads. Yeah, but uh, without just kind of like thinking to just drop down. I, I don't even need him. Yeah. I think he, he's like stuck in the trap of just doing what the level seems to want you to do because this is bait and it doesn't even go anywhere. And even if he gets into these things from the top, you can get in those anyway. We could see something big here. Redly Dragon doing just fine. Oh, yeah, it's 52. 53. Oh, there it goes. There we go. Still, opportunity to make up a lot of time. Yeah, that's 
now it's that eight level lead just shrunk down to two. You gotta do a tricky jump here. Not really tricky. Luckily, the uh, gold platform was on both towers there, so you didn't have to switch a third time. Okay, you can just... Yeah, you can just jump to the right, teleport again at the top of the right rectangle, and then fall into the high jump to get to the finish. Yep, there we go. Yeah, Ridley Dragon gets that one level that Yugero was stuck on pretty quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, now only two behind. Oh, here's these where you slow down using these things instead of jumping. Oop, oop. Honestly, great way to, like, double use a mechanic yeah. in a game. Yeah, that's cool. Because you already know it. You've, you've done it this whole time. But it's also kind of like a check if you've been paying attention. Yeah, mechanically, this game is really uncomplicated, which is kind of cool. Um, like, keep it simple. It's like unconsciously teaching you certain mechanics. The towers don't even change color. <laughs> I mean, there's only one teleport tower. Exactly. Well, there's ten. Those are floors, I guess. Oh, tower, yeah. Huh. It does say tower seven. Maybe it's just like towers built on top of each other. Nice. Jugariel got that one pretty quickly. There's another level where it, there's really only one way to go, so you always just kind of go step by step. Luckily, it gives you uh, it gives you one below on that middle switch. Yeah, very you nice. You could do it without it giving you that, <laughs> and it would just be a lot tighter. Uh, I think going into the yellow was bait. I think you want to jump to the right and switch, so you're on top, and then you do like a grab. And to the finish. There's so much bait in this. Yeah, I didn't remember there There really is a lot. Yeah, I played this a month ago and I don't remember this much. Oh. Do you have to hold onto the right side of that spiky block? I think I mean, you can like... do that. Oh yes, you do. And you do have to. Um... But I feel like if those like weird like red herrings weren't there, it, I think it would make a lot of these levels pretty trivial. This one's straightforward. So far there has been I only one way to go. I think it also helps you learn what the game will try and do. Yeah, this is just a maze, but it's... Uh, he went the wrong way. He was supposed to jump across and teleport. That's the... that's kind of the point of this level, I think. Yeah, and you're softlocked if you fall down there. You can't get back up. We, get, we gotta come up with a word so here. that means softlock, but you can die. Yeah, that's fair. Softlock does imply that you have to reset the console or whatever. Oh, this is just the earlier level, but very slightly differently. Yeah, you got what, teleport you're just, twice. What, you're deathlocked? Yeah, deathlocked. Death I like deathlocked. Hmm. I mean, I think that makes sense. <laughs> I propose <laughs> stuck. <laughs> stuck. <laughs> stuck is good. Uh, they got themselves in a you done messed up position. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll call it bad. There was a, there was one of those hoops was bait too. You would end up too high and hit the spikes. Yeah, but uh, Ugariel showing no sign of stopping now. No, this is fast. Yeah. This is Tower Seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Level 69. <laughs> put, put your TF2 Johns in the chat for level 69, everybody. <laughs> TF2 John. It's going to be the next big Twitch emote after Bad yeah. Chest. We're going to see TF2 John. <laughs> I think you just have to fall left here. I think Juga really had it. <laughs> Just didn't have the execution perfectly. Yeah, because you, you got to go to the far left. Yeah. You when you use those blocks, it's somewhat obvious. We have I don't know if we said mm. it out loud though that you you transport to the relative position of that other block. So you are like you're in the top left corner well, I mean, of one. You'll be in the top left corner of the other. That was that's what the puzzle was about that Jagari was stuck on. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, that's true. I think we got that. Oop. Wow, this blue thing is bait. I can immediately tell. Because it yep. goes absolutely nowhere. There's no point to this thing. I think what you do is you drop down here and then teleport so you're at the top of this block on the teal at the top. Yeah, like you just this. step halfway in. Yeah. And then I forgot, you do something. Now you can just fall, yeah. Oh yeah. That was pretty fast, I think. Yeah, that was fast. Definitely gonna beat my time. This one's very much about... Uh, Switching at the right moment. Oh, that was clean. Let's try. Uh, this looks like bait to me. How much bait in this? I would be looking. Maybe you at have to that jump to little... the left. Yeah. I would be looking at that little top left corner on the top hmm. and being like, there's a reason that that's there. Yeah, if you can make this jump using the blue hoops. You can. Oh, I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to use the hoop jump and then teleport afterwards. Oh. Probably would have worked. Yeah. If it worked. I think that might be possible. The timing would be weird, though. That's good. That that one was hard for me, execution-wise. Really? Um, it seemed kind of almost free because everything happens on the right. It's just well, it's no, it's just a lot of different buttons you gotta hit, and you gotta not hit jump when you want to hit teleport, and not hit teleport when you want to hit jump. Mm. Okay, this is probably about switching to the yellow and then jumping up. Ridley Dragon, not far behind, but at this point... Yeah, there's not enough levels. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if there's enough levels left. It well, is. There's five left. Four. Or four, yeah. The, the last one is free. <laughs> yeah, the last one is literally free. Yeah, unlike uh, whenever... Free. Yeah, versus when Maurice says, or any other commentator says something is free. <laughs> don't believe their lies. <laughs> Easiest game of my life. <laughs> yep. Always remember. Quote okay. 80, everybody. Which game was that that was so easy? I don't remember. I'm kind of, I'm glad I don't know what game it is, because I think it's just a <laughs> universal quote for any game. Yeah, it, it applies regardless. <laughs> oh, oh, good jump. Oh, nice. Picked Very up nice. On that really yeah, quickly. perfect execution, too. I don't think that's yeah. easy. There's another level where you just kind of go where the level looks like it wants you to go. Oh, I think that one guy is correct. It was Drifters Don't Break. Oh yeah, the game was easy. Game was literally free because it was a demo. But it's not free because it does cost <laughs> money. It was literally free. <laughs> okay, so Jugariel notices if you teleport yellow, you're gonna die. So what you do have to do is teleport teal. At the very top, so you grab this latch, then there's to go. Yeah, last level for you, Gariel. This doesn't look too complicated. I think it's a little weird, but um, you have to do some... That bottom hoop is bait. You gotta just go over here. <laughs> there's so much bait in this game. Yeah, I know. There really is. Oh, he almost had it. Oh, that, 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 that would have been finished. Yeah, teleport, jump, teleport, go in the teal, teleport, finish. Boom. See you that done, beating my time by 10 minutes. That's way too <laughs> short of a goal. No, these are both really strong racers. Still. We do what's submitted, unless we have to change it. Good time, though. Let me check. I've probably raced this at some point. Teleport tower plus. Oh, it was beat the game, and I did 27. So see, should have done 10. Free game, easiest game of my life. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Alright, let's get back to the un anti delayed audio. Yeah, but really good time though. Oh, and if we finish up, we can raid AGDQ, where Mythical9 is gonna commentate on Mega Man 2 in 15 minutes. Perfect. Ish, 20 minutes. Is this a Japanese developed game? It strikes me as I, Japanese. Yeah, rare, but... that's yeah, what I thought. But... Yeah, definitely, like, because the, the opening title had, uh, I believe it was Japanese as, okay. like, the uh, select options. Or I'm just ignorant. I think it's so. also the font of, like, the buttons at the bottom. <laughs> and the, like, the stage select and stuff. That It just looks very Japanese. It's weird how you can tell Japanese freeware. Right? You wouldn't be able to tell because of the box art. <laughs> <laughs> Why are his arms so long? Oh, so this is on itch on some sort of compilation page. The actual homepage for this game isn't up anymore. FAO, FFAO with the call out, Maurice. <laughs> 2021 Maurice was like, 20 minute goals are the best. The shorter, the better. 2022 Maurice is like, this took top 8 30 minutes, so I thought it should extend the goal. <laughs> but so, the thing is, every time I say I like short goals, people are like, oh no, I prefer an hour. So I gave them hour-long games, and then suddenly they take 90 minutes. What is that about? No, it's it's not that the... <laughs> I don't think it's... When I say I prefer longer goals, it's just because it takes me usually longer to learn, like, platformer mechanics, and I have a better chance of winning. It's not because, like, it's fundamentally better. Oh, Jugariel is here. Hey, Jugariel! Hi! I was Teleport Tower Plus. This is a really cool game! I agree. This, this is really fun. This, this, is all, this is an empty classic, pretty much. I'm surprised neither of you have played it. But, like, if you yeah. want to compare times, there's probably a lot that you can compare to. I don't know. I, I, I heard about it. Uh, but that's about it. And I don't know. I, I, now I see why I heard about it. It's it's good. <laughs> there is a game called Teleportals. Oh, there is. Oh, it's amazing! It's been raced on SRL. <laughs> of course. I was just looking to see. So we did one through seven. They did just a race of eight through ten, and that took Saiho twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, but uh. So you were like, what? What are your thoughts? Like, what? What made this game like a, a fun race for you? Well, the fact that it's not only just puzzles trying to figure it out, but it also has some skill. Like, it's just, uh, it, it's it's a good mix, I'd say, for a blind race of yeah. like having to figure stuff out and at the same time trying to actually do the thing correctly. Like, I don't know. It's a it's a fun mix. Yeah, so, like, the puzzles aren't too difficult, and the platforming isn't too difficult, but, like, they blend together to make a nice pairing. Yep. I, I'm i really happy I played this. <laughs> and there is Ridley Dragon with the dot done. DD. Yeah, not too far behind. Both really good times. Yeah, I don't know how the race went. <laughs> Yeah, uh, well, I did at least. So, <laughs> yeah, for the most part, you were in the lead uh, at uh, near the end, anyway. But at the beginning, it did kind of jump back and forth. Was, was there like a specific puzzle where I took the lead or something? I, I... Um, I blow their lead. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come on, yeah, you started with it. Yeah, it couldn't have been that big of a lead. I was I wasn't playing. This wasn't a, I didn't like start blowing it or something. No, yeah, like, no, nothing was nothing was really like just, held just... you up. Like I think the 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 one that we remember holding was like one of the 
which one was it? The one where you had to like, oh gosh, I was gonna say but teleport, was loop, but that was there like was loop on the left side, and then you had to teleport to the top. That actually held Drew Gariel up, but Ridley got there quicker. That you like shortened the lead on that level. Yeah, but for the most part, like you Gariel was, you were kind of just one shotting these these levels pretty much. The late, late levels, I started not one shotting them. Yeah, that and that kind of was the difference. I like how yeah, I know, there were some there were some really hard levels in there that I'm actually what surprised how I did. Are you doing the next one? Because the next one. Yeah, I'm doing. It's I'm brain, on 86 now. It's some brain bending. I'm on 82. It's not easy. I like how yeah, you both are playing. I, I can uh, I can continue the uh, timer. So you're basically racing 10 towers now. <laughs> Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wipe the old race. We're doing <laughs> towers in the, towers eight, nine, and nope. ten. No, nine and ten. Let's go. Let's just do you, uh, did you like this game though, Ridley? Very much so. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Nope. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I, it is. But I'm now like trying to trying to talk and play it, and it's that's not gonna work. <laughs> really, I, I also I also there are points where I stopped and literally just like had to had to visualize what was happening and. You yeah, know. there were some levels that I had to what, work backwards to even know what I was doing. What, what, once we hit puzzle, like an actual, I have to sit there and figure out puzzles. That's where, like, I don't win those games <laughs> under any circumstances. Platforming was was fine, but it wasn't a re like a reflex test under any circumstances until the very end. There's, we realized that there's a lot of like bait. Yes. There's a yeah, There's a lot of stuff where it's like thing is I, probably, I probably took every piece of bait because I don't I don't stop to look at things when I do this these puzzle games. The same. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the cool thing about the the bait is that it's not like it's wiping your entire progress. But just you go, oh, that's not it, and then you go to the next thing. Yeah, it's it's a quick I, reset. I, I like yesterday. I feel like I blew that lead. Like I really felt like uh in that ra in that race against Arcbliss. That's that's, that's something I should I I probably. If, if I just kept my cool, I could have won. I, I don't know how much better I could have done here. Wait, wait, just played everything perfectly. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say that's true, but... <laughs> I played it pretty close because I really felt like, oh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm going into near the end of Tower A. I'm like, I'm going to win this race. And then all of a sudden you, you're done. And like, okay, well, that's how that goes. <laughs> Yeah, that that's just sometimes how it rolls. Like you can feel like you play really well and then you still lose. You sometimes you feel like you play terribly and you still win. It's it's the toss of the that coins was, sometimes. That, that was that was that first first friggin' PlayStation game with the ball. Roller. Remember that? Roller. Yeah. Oh yeah. Your rosy game. Yeah. Oh you played roller? Yeah. Oh wow. That was quite a game. Um I, I, I looked for a lot of Net Eurose games that, and that well, was really playing, the yeah. only one that I felt was even a little bit viable. And even then, I had to do the code, which made it kind of weird, <laughs> the time run out and stuff. Um, but yeah, this has been uh, this has been quite. You played Javelin, you played this, some yeah, classic. Yeah, uh, sad to be going out earlier than I anticipated, but it wasn't. The, the, this this I was I'm fine losing this one. This way. Yeah, this is like, a just, this just, is just, I, just hats off to Wag Ariel, really. Thank you. <laughs> you did really you you did very well though. You, like twenty six <laughs> minutes, that's really good as well. Yeah, I got uh, I I friggin' I keep saying I keep saying friggin'. I'm from New York, everybody. Uh, I, I ran into Arcalus in round two, and I ran into Hueg Ariel, who I don't know if you've been around, but you might win a couple rounds. I've been since, uh, I want to say 13. Okay. Or 14, I don't really remember. But every time I do one of I'm these, like, I get, I, yeah. I do I'm, like three matches, and then I'm out. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've owned two a few times. I've, I've made it to top 32 once the first I went. There was that one, that one time where we had the friggin' the photo finished against uh, Alpha 5 in that Batman game. I don't know if anyone remembers that. I think you were even here like, uh, I think it was 12, I want to say, because I've been here since 10. From, uh, yeah, but I don't think Maurice was here, at least. At yeah, that point. actually, before all three of our times, actually. 
<laughs> no, yeah, that was that, that was when Alpha Five made its top eight and then had to had to go to a wedding, so someone else made top eight. I believe Alpha <laughs> actually had to go to a Weird Al concert. <laughs> <laughs> that's worse. That's not that's wedding. Worse. That's that's yeah. Oh, that's right. Andy had to go to the wedding. Alpha had to go to the yeah, weird. There was there was, there was, a, there was like one of those like let's 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 do these tournaments only in the winter, guys. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, speaking of fun, we're doing at seven. We're getting ready to do a shuffle race, right? Yeah. Uh, what a what a transition, Maurice. Yeah. Check this 